god, is that powder everywhere on my hair? Everyone, it's Kezi over here from Kezi's Corner and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Kezi and this is my little corner. If you like what you see, I hope you can join my lovely family. It would mean the world to me. I post every single Wednesdays and Fridays, which are makeup videos. And then Sundays are my vlogs where I also share my braces journey. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. It truly means everything to me. So today's video is going to be about the new Revolution brand, which is cheaper than any of their other brands. So if you want to see what products I test out, how they test out, what I thought of them, then keep on watching. So if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more then press subscribe and let's go ahead and get started with today's video. So let's begin. I'm quite tired. I <laughs> just woke up not long ago. Well, I did quite a bit of stuff, so that's good. Anyways, I'm just gonna ramble on. So I have all the stuff that I got laid out in front of me. So let's see how these products obviously test out. I do have relatively for a face. So yeah, I really like this concept. I mean, the products were so, so cheap. So I just wanna see now how they work out. Primer, they released a couple of new ones and I got these two. I got the Power Fix Primer. It's a green tube like that. I love how it comes as well, packaged. I also got the Pore Fix Primer, sort of like that. I think between these two, I think I would prefer to try out the Pore fix primer I love the concept of the packaging i mean look it looks so high tech that is the feeling i get when i look at the little tube over here so cute anyway so i'm just going to put some primer onto my skin Ooh, okay Ooh, it smells of iced tea peach literally so as i rub it further i notice it like it gets very sticky on my skin so obviously i'll see how I like it with the foundation. I am very excited to try this foundation out. It's a new Super Serum Hyaluronic Acid Foundation. And I got mine in the shade F4. F4 is the shade I always get when I order foundations from Revolution. I really hate foundations that come like this because I tend to make a mess out of it. Let's just try this out. I don't like the packaging of it because it's kind of, kind of annoying to get out the serum. But yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. The color is absolutely great. So kind of I had a little bit of product, but I can see from this that a little product goes a long way, guys. This serum foundation is not that bad. Not that bad at all. But obviously this side of my face is my okay side. <laughs> So let's go on the not okay side. As you can see, like a lot, a little product goes a long way, which, which I'm kind of liking quite a lot. Even my spot, like it covered quite well, and like the drop was over here. So, as you can see, like the product, like a little bit, literally was more than enough. I like this. I like this a lot. I'm really impressed, actually. And it was way cheap. I forgot how much it was, but I mean, for a foundation. I mean, this compares to their Conceal and Hydrate foundation, in my opinion, honestly. I mean, I think even it has more coverage. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't understand. Like, how this... Yeah. Okay, that is very good, guys. That is very good. For concealer, I don't have any concealer. So I'm just going to use my Conceal and Hydrate concealer from them. Just, obviously, conceal under my eyes. My under eye of this eye <laughs> is a bit dry, apparently. I did not know. It's annoying. Anyways, so this one is the HD Super Matte Setting Powder. I don't really want to apply that much because obviously it's going to stick on over there because I have a dry patch. I don't know. I'm just going to take off this wee sticker over here. I took off the whole thing. <laughs> that was a wee scary. Hopefully, let's see. I hope that it's fine. Wow, it really mattifies everything. And for the rest of my face, I'm just going to... Where's my powder brush? All right, so obviously powder went everywhere, even on my mirror. Oh my God, is that powder everywhere on my hair? Powder though, really set on very, very well. I have two of their brow products. So I have the Blade Brow, which is the Micro Blade Brow. It comes in a wee box like this. And then this is 
the pencil. I finished quite a bit of pencil, so I was like, let me buy some new ones. We have this Puli over there. This is how my brow pencil looks like. So this one is the Power Brow. I prefer this one. I think so it comes again with another spoolie and then this is it okay so i think i'm just going to use this one so i'm just going to brush up my hairs like this i'm just going to fill in my brows so let's see what this does i think it's quite a good color actually <laughs> yeah. i always struggle to like do the inner part of my brow i don't know if you guys feel the same but Sort of, I don't know how to do it. Okay, so that's that's pretty good, I think. That is very good. So I'm going to try this one. So this one is a glossy fix. And you have one side which is for your lashes and then one side which is for your brows. I'm going to apply the brow one. I don't see any difference, guys. It's just the brow. I don't know, it's like a setting product, I guess. So I'm just going to add some color to my face because my face is a wee bit too, like, nothing. Ooh, yes, let me use this one. I reviewed it in another makeup haul that I had done on Revolution. It's the Glow, I think this one is light. So the Splendor Light, so. I'm just gonna give some color. Oh dear God. So what else I'm gonna do is I'm gonna also do some blush. There's this pink one and there's this pink one. I think I prefer this one. <laughs> Don't know why I bought the other one. So this one is the Revolution in Blush Reloaded in Rhubarb and Custard. So, all right. So I have a wee bit, whoops, a wee bit of more stuff to try out, especially this one. So this one, what, look. This one is what we're gonna try out now. It's the Empower Shadow Palette. It comes like so, and this is how it comes. It's a really cute pink palette. I mean, there's so much to choose from, but I chose this one. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So excited. I think I know what I'm gonna do. Let's start with this shade first. Let's use this one, which is like a very baby pink shade. Let's see. So yeah, it's a really pinky, pinky toned pink. <laughs> wow, Okay, I don't know what that was. It's actually a really gorgeous pink, but I'm kind of dipping into the brush quite a bit, into the pan quite a bit to basically get what I want, which I would say would be something like so. I think something like this is pretty cool. That's beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to go into this pink right there. So obviously today is going to be a pinky kind of look. And obviously the palette is called Empower. So let's empower ourselves with a bit of pink. I can never say no to that. <laughs> I mean, these would be a perfect traveling shadows if you ask me. Okay, so I'm going to take that shade now. And that shade I'm going to put at my outer corner. So I literally, I'm going to just build it in my outer corner. So I'm just going to go in now with the, the second shade we used to, to just build it up in my crease. And now I'm just going to, I'm going to literally, I'm not gonna create a cut crease or anything. I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna see if I can actually use, because when I go onto that shade that I wanna use, this is the shade that comes out. So I don't know, we'll see. Let's just see. We'll try it out, we'll try it out, try it out. Okay, yeah, definitely I would prefer a brush. I think I'm going to try and dampen the brush. I'm just gonna see what happens when you dampen it. Okay, yeah, it's prettier when you dampen it, guys. So let me see what I'm gonna go in with. Okay, so I'm just going to blend the third shade again in with the shimmer and then the pink shade into the crease and then the pink lightest shade. We'll just leave this out for now, but there's they have a dip liner in white. And then I got a cool liner as well in white, which you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually going to put it on my waterline because I want to. So I'm just going to... I just wanted my waterline, okay. We'll fix it with mascara, not a problem. <laughs> 
<laughs> Anyways, and then we have the Black Flick Eyeliner, which I'm not going to use today because mm, I don't really want to do a black eyeliner. Okay, yes, that's a really good eyeliner. Okay, so I will definitely use this another time, but today I don't really want to because I'm really happy with how the look looks without eyeliner. Something I want to do before, I want to use my super highlight that I got. This one is in Champagne. I always like the Champagne shades. Use this as my inner corner. I'm going to do a little bit on the center of my eyelids. Ooh, that is pretty. So we'll use this as our highlight very ooh, our highlight very soon. But I have my mascara. So this is the Power Lash Volume Mascara. It comes like this, and this is the wand. I'm going to apply my mascara now. Okay, I really like that. However, I marked underneath, but that's fine. I'll fix it later. I do the same thing now on the other eye, but I like it. I mean, look at the difference. Cool, okay, because I like having everything. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to now apply the highlight on my cheekbones, because that is something we haven't done yet. Let me set my face so it will actually come even better. So I'm going to use the Super Dewy from Revolution. I think they had setting sprays, but it said coming soon, so I didn't get them. Coming, Nemo. Whoa, I feel <laughs> like a Greek goddess with this highlight, man. This one is now in the shade of Revolution Pro. It is struck, so let's use struck. I think I like this one because, you know, why not? I don't wear many pink lipsticks anymore. So, yeah, I like that. Okay, so I'm just going to finish the video. Yeah, yes, let me come. So this is the finished look. And honestly, I'm really happy with how the products tested out. The eyeshadow, honestly, all I have bad to say about it is that the shimmer shade is not as pigmented as I would have hoped, but I guess with a bit of patience, you do get the wished look, basically. The foundation is, mm, I don't like how it's setting into my skin, honestly. It's like bringing out all my imperfections out a little bit, so I don't know. Like, as for coverage, it's pretty good, don't get me wrong. But when I look at my skin, like, there's quite a bit, I don't know, but I, I guess it's just my skin as well, so I can't really blame the foundation. But I just wanted to let you guys know, so let me just show you what I mean. I'm just going to lower the brightness, like that, you will see everything. So this is what I mean, sort of, it shows sort of the the imperfections a little bit more. Apart from that, I think I liked everything else. I mean, the pore primer, I don't know if it did anything, to be honest. That is one thing that I don't know because like, my pores are still very much seeping through. Powder, I think, is really good. The powder, I think, this one, the HD Super Matte Powder, and then the highlight is amazing. So I would definitely recommend these two for sure. As well as the mascara and then the cool liner as well. It's pretty cool to have like wet eyeliner on hand and you can do it on your waterline. I don't know, pops the look sometimes as well. So yeah, that was today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then press subscribe. I'm going to go now and I'll see you guys later. Bye.